We're just going to give you a quick little tour of the facility here, Ronsonsville Car House. The facility is over 100 years old. It was first fitted for Peter Witt Street Cars, then the President's Conference Car, the uh, PCC, and the Seal RVs and the Hale RVs, which came in the uh, early 80s. Um, you probably heard in the newspaper that we're going to be receiving some new new cars, 100 foot cars, low floor vehicles. In the near future, we'll be getting two prototypes coming in March of next year. And uh, what we're going to do is just take you through the car house and take you through our interior wash and our exterior wash so you get the chance to ride through the wash. So I would suggest you close all your windows. <laughs> you don't want to get wet. And after we go through the wash, we're going to take you through a little tour of uh, inside our, our heavy repair area and you'll get to see a mock-up version of a little rail yard. So uh, it'll be a little, nice little treat for the kids. On the window to show Daddy? Yeah. <laughs> if you have any questions about the facility or the vehicles, I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you're a geek, don't geek up. If you're a geek, don't geek up. <laughs> How do they, um, how do they wrap the ads? The, uh, the ad wraps are done in our uh, collision area. And what it is, is it's a plastic wrap and they use a heat. They just they heat them up with a torch. And then it's, it's, uh, it just basically shrinks onto the car. So we're making our way into the uh, wash area now. We just went through what's called the uh, S-Bend. It's one of the tightest turn, radius turns for any streetcar network well, in the world. Test, it's one of our challenges with the new cars because they're so long and they're a low floor truck. So uh, the design in the truck is very unique in the new vehicles. Yes, sir. You said the new ones are 100 feet? 100 feet long. Oh, this one? This is 50 feet. It's double the length. Wow. And the cab cab area is a separate cab. It's separate from the vehicle altogether. So how many, how many flexes are there in the new There's vehicle? There's four articulations. So the car, it, instead of the trucks turning, it, it's actually the body that snakes through the turn. So we're just approaching the wash now. If you see at the back, you'll see somebody washing the back windows. One of the challenges we have with these old cars is the trolley poles. They have a, a carbon insert for conducting the high voltage to the vehicle. And it, after, after a rainfall, you get this carbon streaking down the back windows. It's been a problem for many years, so we have to wash the back windows manually. If you look on some of the spider cars, you can see it now. Yes. Yes, sir. How many entrances are there on the new vehicles? There's three entrances. This must be this so the, are there collectors? How, how do you pay to get on? Well, right now there's um, there's a proof of payment uh, system. So um, we're talking about having... Uh, well, right now on Queen Street we have POP, which is proof of payment. So it's an honor system. Uh, they're looking to go to a Presto card. So electronic swipe device. But uh, they still haven't worked that out. There's a lot of politics on, on that issue. Can you tell us what you do here? Do you work in the shop or? I'm the superintendent, yeah. <laughs> they're running. They're running short on a few tour guides. <laughs> oh yeah, much much better because they're low low to the ground, better visibility for the operator. Passengers will um, no, you will not. What's the question? Yes. Oh, the Sorry, the question was, will we, will the passengers still be able to see out the front of the vehicle? So the, the, the answer to that question is no, because it's a closed cab. So the, 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 uh, the, the operator actually enters from his own door. Uh oh. Just, just 
stop at the top at 24 feet. Uh, yep. Why did we stop? to keep watching this car over and over all day long. We're going to change cars. We're going to change cars. Yeah, they're, they're very, very old cars and they're very sensitive to water. So we'll, we'll change it up a little later on. So uh, this is the uh, this is 20 track, our exterior wash. The track that you see next to is where we do most of our interior cleans, our floor washes, our major and, in, and, and minor cleans. The uh, furthest track away is 18 track, that's our collision area. We have lots of collision with these cars due to the right of way, obviously. Um, little fender benders all the time. We average at least three to four collisions a day, and uh, that's our collision area. That's minor collisions. Major collisions, they go up to Harvey Shop at Hillcrest, where uh, Bathurst and DuPont, and they'll go in there for heavy repair. Here's are using my iPhone for magnification too. So we're coming around to the west side of the building where you're going to see two of our most historical cars, the Peter Witt and the PCC. You'll get a chance to board the cars and have a look inside. And then we're going to take you into the little shop area and show you the mini railroad yard that we have set up for you. Well, we bring them inside in the winter time. Okay. Yeah. See this? Wow. We're, we're trying to get some money to build a little storage facility. Yeah, we will. And these are the